Good evening, YouTube. I am Lamont at Large. Today, I am in the Rahway Cemetery here in Rahway, New Jersey, here to visit the grave of the unknown woman. In the cold hours of the early morning, March 25th, 1887, the year of our Lord, a group of brothers were walking to work at the local felt mill. As they passed the river, they found me lying on the ground a few hundred feet away from the Central Avenue Bridge. And to their shock and horror, I was laying on the ground in a pool of my own blood, now frozen from the brutal cold of the night previous. The boys quickly ran away in terror. Now, all of a sudden, I see many people around me. The police are also here. They're asking people if they know who I am, and everybody shakes their head. I am a ghastly sight. I was attacked from behind while I was carrying eggs in a basket. A man of ill repute bashed me in the side of my head. The intense pain I feel is like nothing I've ever felt before. A cold razor's edge runs across my neck so quick, so vicious. Why is he doing this to me? I tried to fight him off. I fought for my life. I have cuts all over my hands and my arms from trying to defend myself, defend my life. I want to live. I want to live. I can hear the heat of my own blood as it leaves the gaping wound that was my throat. I choke. I try to scream. Mm. Everything fades to darkness. A black, inky darkness. I can no longer see anything. Nor can I feel anything. A peacefulness comes over me. Did I die? Did he kill me? Is this what death is like? I can hear them. The people around me. They remark how well-dressed I am. They wonder if I am from the area. The old man with the white beard says maybe I'm from overseas. Ireland? Am I English? They ask. My shoes. They say my shoes appear to be foreign-made. The police officer with the mop of red hair remarks how pretty I am other than the devastation of what happened to me. My hair was brown. My eyes were blue. I was always complimented on them. I got my daddy's eyes. Oh, daddy. No one can hear me. I try to tell them who I am, but it is of no use. Let me talk. Let me talk, damn it. I have a name. I was alive, just like you all who stand over me. The pity they feel for me. The person I once was is no more but an empty shell of immovable parts. Pieces to a puzzle that no one can solve. Am I get to be forgotten? As they put my description in all the newspapers and my picture appears on flyers in the area. And as the day comes of my burial, my final resting place, a sea of people, hundreds and hundreds, maybe thousands, come to my funeral. But nobody steps forward to claim me. Claim me as their own. Because of my unknown virtue, I am placed at the edge of the cemetery away from the others like a leper. The preacher says a prayer as a sudden feeling of 
Warmth and light engulfs me. I feel a weird feeling like I am floating. I can see my own funeral. Oh my. <laughs> All those people warning me. Oh, please don't. Please do not cry. Please. Please. I'm going to be okay. This energy all around me. It's like my family is holding me tight. It's so warm and soothing here in this light. Yes, I'm going to be okay, folks. I'm going to be okay. In a violent world around us. In God, I'm secure. And here is the grave of the unknown woman. And it simply says, an unknown woman found dead March 25th, 1887. This woman does not have her God-given Christian name on her stone and sadly she never will but whatever your name is whoever you were there will be lots of people praying for you tonight and to the person to the man who did this to you as I say Every dog has his day, and best believe I know for a fact that one day he will have his judgment day. You were somebody's daughter, you were maybe somebody's mom. Somebody's best friend, somebody's confidant. Rest in peace to this poor woman and I hope that she truly is in a better place than that frozen mud pond so many years ago. Alright guys, Lamont at Large. I'll catch up with you on the next vlog. Peace out.